A group of 23 Polish people embarked on the first ever electric car pilgrimage, taking on around 1,300 miles as a concrete response to Pope Francis' encyclical Laudato Si. The pilgrimage is also the idea to awake the Christians uh, to be responsible for our uh, environmental and like the Pope Francis said, the climate is the, the good of everybody and we have to take care of everyone for, the, for our climate. The theme of the five-car entourage was driving change together. They stopped at major basilicas in various countries along the way, but the highlight of the trip was presenting one of the cars to Pope Francis. Forty-three countries of the world supporting electromobility. The Minister of Poland's Energy and Environment knows this after he hosted the COP24 meeting in Poland in December. COP24 is the UN Conference on Climate Change, and its goal is to work toward a greener planet. From the meeting, the Katowice rulebook was created, which Michał Kurtyka presented to Pope Francis at the end of August. It succeeded in creating a new set of rules for the global climate policy after 2021. So we will replace the Kyoto Protocol with the rules based on Paris Agreement and Katowice rulebook. And Katowice rulebook is quite a heavy uh, work, 100 pages. Uh, of legal documents which were adopted by the global community and I handed it to Pope saying that uh, uh, we listened to his call in Laudato Si. Thus it only seemed fitting that at the end of the visit with the Holy Father they gave him a copy of COP24's final document on sustainable development and implementation of Laudato Si. Laudato Si. Laudato Si.